Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Nick Plays Hearthstone. Uh, so last time we finished the Delirian Heist, so I kind of just did three, three or four episodes, I can't remember. I think it was like four, because I was like, you know, I'm going to do three attempts, because it's, it's another dungeon run. And I was just like, you know what? I'll give it a, I'll give it a chance. I, I'll give it a chance. So this time, we're, because we finished the Dalaran Heist, so Rise of Shadows, Dalaran Heist. We're going on to the tomb, uh, the Saviors of Uldum, Tombs of Terror. I am super excited. Again, if this is another like dungeon run type one, then I'm probably going to just do three run throughs and that's it. I really hope it isn't, because I know for a fact. Uh, yeah, basically everything from Cobalt's Catacombs to Raskin's Rumble were dungeon runs. Everything before that, well, Frozen Throne, Karazhan, Blackrock Mountain, and Nax Ramis. Uh, those were, so yeah, Frozen Throne, Karazhan, Blackrock Mountain, Nax Ramis. Those were actual story adventures. Leave of Swords was like a, it was more of a puzzle adventure. Actually, Boomsday Project was not a dungeon run. That was, that was also a puzzle one, in a way. So, Catacombs, Witchwood, Raskin's Rumble were dungeon runs, Dalaran Heist. Which means we're left with like... Dreams of Terror, Galakron's Awakening, Book of Heroes, and Book of Mercenaries. Because Ashes of Outland I did already. Because I wanted the 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 uh, Demon Slayer. Uh, Demon Hunter. Class. So here we go. Tombs of Terror. I'm really, really hoping it is. It is. I've called in eyewitness reports to triangulate the origin of the plagues. We'll tackle each one at its source. So, from the looks of it, uh, yeah, it's another dungeon run. <sighs> but looking at it, we're doing dual class peoples. I'm gonna run with with Elise because she's a druid and a priest, so that's gonna be good. Hello, cat. My cat just sat in my lap and it's just like, really? Uh, okay. So basically, it's the same as the last one. As uh. Was it Rastakan's Rumble? I think it was Rastakan's Rumble. Basically, you have you have the pre-made classes, so these ones are all dual type, and then you also have to do defeat. Uh, you can unlock different like cards for doing different stuff. A true explorer never yeah. There are skills I have yet to learn. Success begins with preparation. Where shall I start? So this this should be interesting. We'll see how well this goes. This one I might be playing a lot of on my own time. Yeah. So this is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting uh, interesting because yet it is yet again another dungeon run and yeah I don't know the dungeon runs are okay. I just. I'm just not the best at them. I'm also not the biggest fan of them. So, so here we go. We'll see how how much easier this is than the other ones. I'm hoping it's much easier. This Murloc plague will destroy the world. I shall endeavor not to take offense. Okay, let's see. So, so far, this isn't going to be, isn't too, too bad. But at the same time, 
We'll see. So far, it's already it's it's interesting more than than the other ones, just because of the whole dual typing. So let's see how well this goes. Now I don't want her, that guy to summon more Murlocs, so. Hmm. Interesting. So, really with everything that I'm doing, I'm just trying to build up as many cards as... I'm just trying to build up as many guys as possible. Which, so far, it's going not too bad. Wow, so... I really just need to end you. There we go. So, this one I, I will try to get through as much as possible. Because there is more of a story behind it. But at the same time, because it is a dungeon run, I don't want to spend the next two years playing it because of my lack of actual skill in Hearthstone. I like this robe as a diminishing. Time to gear up for my next encounter. Should I focus on my druidic skills or priestly magic? Hmm. I do like this legends one. Probably not the best idea for this, but But we'll see. I'm I'm actually like really I don't know. This one is more exciting, but we'll see what happens. Who knows? I might the rest might all be like dungeon runs. Which if it is, then well, whatever. Where is your so called Pharaoh to come? Come closer to the fire explorer. <sighs> Now, like, if I can get through, through this, we'll, we'll see. I, I only want to do three. Oh, look, I already have Malorn. So they're not, that's a minion. So yeah, okay, that's not going to work. If it's a spell that I cast. I don't want to use that just yet. I know it says zero, and it's gonna yeah, it's gonna go up to its actual cost. For me, I want to use that on my uh, holy champion. I'm gonna gain some arm. No, I'm gonna gain some attack right now. There we go. So this is not too bad. I love how you just got rid of my, uh... Oh. After you cast a spell, do two damage randomly split. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um... 
We'll do that. And we'll do that. I'm gonna attack that person. Oh yay, secrets. So there is Loatheb. I'm not gonna send him out yet. Cause I need I wanna get that reborn on her. And I'm gonna do this where I'm gonna start gaining some armor. Actually, we'll leave him. Let's attack with this one. Does this hurt? I won anyways. I didn't even realize that. Like, okay, that works. So, so far, not too bad. I just... Yeah. It's not bad. I'm going to do spell generation. Huh. Interesting. So, I'm, I'm not actually sure. I think it's going to be the same where it's going to be. There's eight bosses in each one. Uh, now, because I am running this with Elise, who is a druid priest, it's not bad. Okay, um, interesting. I love how it gave me the basic card backs for this one. Really. That's a waste. Well, I mean, it's only one, so it's fine. Oh look, I have two legendary minions in my hand. Uh, whenever you cast a spell, add a random priest spell to your hand. Wow, I have three. That one, and then that one. Okay. Let's go, let's go, this is, gonna, this is going... I don't know how this is going. Oh, his are all like infested cards. Hmm. How many fingers do you see? Yeah, this is um interesting. I don't like that one. We'll do that. And we'll give you Reborn. Now, because I can't summon any legendary minions, I am going to do this. I'm going to gain some armor. So I don't want to use... <sighs> Whatever, she has Reborn, so that's fine. So this way, she gains more attack, and I also get a Light Warden. So that, that worked out kind of well. Well, that didn't work well. Okay, um... Shoot, uh, let's do this. Let's get her out. And we'll do that. I have to get rid of it as quick as possible. And then we'll start attacking him. I mean, unfortunately, they have a lot more enemies out than I do. Oh, 
Oh, of course they're going to take out my Light Warden. Okay. We'll do that, and then we'll inspire, gain some more armor, which gives me that. Uh, I can't use those right away. Okay, you. I just need you to attack him. Oh, discovering a lackey. Nice. They filled up their side of the board. Oh. Nice. I need to get rid of their side of the board. Oh boy, that's not going well. I... I'm just trying to think of what would be the best course of action. Because right now, it's fine. Because they have a bunch of weak minions out. And their side of the board is filled. So until they get rid of some of their minions... Yeah. Until they get rid of some of their minions, they can't do anything, so that's fine. Which, right now, that's what they're doing. Oh, great. Okay, uh, that didn't go well. But, that's fine. I'll put Lothib out. I don't want to use that right now. I'm going to put another taunt minion out, and I'm going to gain some more armor. Oh, I didn't really need to do that, but whatever. There we go! So that's not too, too bad. I'm actually enjoying it. Oh, look at that. Sweet. And with that, we're going to end that episode there. So. Oh, actually, we're going to do that after this. I like that one. We're going to go with Miniature Army. And then... Yeah, and then next time we're going to go and see Bizarre Bob. Which I guess is basically the same thing as the, uh, the Tavern Hand. So, we'll continue this next time. So, be sure to stay tuned for that. If you guys want to be notified when the next video goes up, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And while you guys are clicking on stuff, make sure you guys click on the links down in the description to follow me on social media and on Twitch. Well, there you have it. That's some more Hearthstone for you. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying the Tombs of Terror so far. So we'll continue this in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.